A warm welcome to all of you. Myself, Dr. Pratimesh Vijay Kothodekar, I'm a second year radiodiagnosis resident at Dr. Eva Patil Hospital, Kolhapur. Today, my topic for paper presentation is impact of CT in ultrasound negative patients for diagnosing appendicitis. Now, the most typical reasons why uh, reasons why people are admitted to emergency department with abdominal pain is appendicitis. Now, it can be also be accompanied by vomiting, fever, and diarrhea, and it, the many causes of abdominal discomfort range from benign to seriously dangerous conditions. It is easy to diagnose appendicitis in young male patients, uh, whereas in case of premenopausal uh, women, who they have comparable clinical symptoms and history, uh, so it is difficult sometimes. Due to the serious complication, due to serious complications such as perforation, acute appendicitis, it requires prompt diagnosis and treatment. And even if there is no clear signs, clinical signs or a proper diagnosis of appendicitis, few surgeons, they support for an early laparotomy to reduce the risk of appendix perforation. Now we will see the surface anatomy. Uh, the base of appendix, it lies two centimeter below the point of intersection of transtrabecular plane, plane and the mid clavicular plane. And the position of appendix uh, in that retrocolic position is the most common 65.28% followed by the pelvic position 31% which is followed by paracolic, mid inguinal, pre ileal and post ileal positions. The arterial supply, uh, in the appendix is supplied by the appendicular artery which is in turn a branch of inferior division of iliopolic artery which is in turn a branch of superior mesenteric artery. Uh, histologically, appendix, uh, it consists of four layers, mucosa, submucosa, muscularis, and uh, serosa. Uh, also, we can see meso appendix. Now, the diagnostic imaging append acute appendicitis. Uh, appendicitis are mostly uh, evaluated by clinical signs and clinical source. However, when only clinical findings of patients are correlated and favorable appendicectomy rates, uh, it is dramatically enhanced. In patients with equivocal or atypical clinical symptoms, imaging modalities, the air surgeon in reaching a diagnosis rather than keeping the patient um, under observation. In this case, uh, CT and UHG have played an important role in identifying acute appendicitis in the early stage. UHG it is the uh, primary modality as it is low cost and it lacks any radiation. Uh, however, the drawbacks are that it is operator, heavily operator dependent uh, and it is based on radiologist expertise and experience. Also, sometimes the appendix position is such that it's it is difficult to visualize appendix. Uh, so, in this cases, we need to switch to CT. Uh, and CT is more specific than UHG uh, and appendicitis can be quickly ruled out. Many research and liter literatures have discussed the optimum technique for detecting acute appendicitis. Fortunately, the majority of them have produced the same conclusions. Both these imaging technologies have dramatically lowered the rate of negative appendicectomy in the recent years. Now, what is the role of X-ray? X-ray is useful in diagnosing the presence of appendicolith. Uh, it is confirmed by X-ray itself in 80 to 100 percent of the cases. Now, along with this, certain radiological features we can see in abdominal X-ray are air fluid level localized to cecum or the terminal ear. They are indicative of localized inflammation in the right ileum fossa. There is gas in cecum, terminal ileum, ascending colon, and localized a dynamic ileus. Soft tissue density is increased in the right lower quadrant. Right flank stripe gets blood. There is appendicolate in the right lower quadrant. There is blooding and alteration of the psoas outline as it's distal at its distal third. A rare but valuable sign is the gas filled appendix. There is free gas or external luminal gas in the retroperitoneal or the peritoneal space. There is deformity of cecum or there is blurring of psoas shadow in the right side. On USG, uh, USG basically we use graded compression technique and it, it has advantage of displacing the gas filled bar loop between the abdominal wall and help, thus helps in better visualization of the appendix freely from the intestinal loops. Hence, higher rates of detection are also found in lean patients. On UHG, we can see that uh, uh, it, the inflamed appendix, it is seen as a non-compressible a peristaltic blind loop and the diameter is greater than 6 millimeters. 
Now, these are the images which show appendix uh, in longitudinal axis. We can see the appendix measures of uh, six, greater than six millimeter diameter. Whereas in transverse view, we can see a target like appearance. In case of CT, we have primary diagnostic criteria of thickened and distended abdomen with width greater, uh, thickened and distended appendix with width greater than six millimeter. Mural thickening and enhancement, wall thickening of appendix is greater than 2 mm or periappendicial stranding. In secondary diagnostic criteria, it includes appendicular periappendicial abscess, small bowel obstruction, pericycal inflammation, then target appearance, which is concentric inflammatory thickening of appendix, and the presence of wear in either extraluminal or intraluminal. Now, the aims and objective of this study, it is to assess the accuracy of CT in cases where an ultrasound has failed to identify appendicitis. Secondly, to evaluate CT's effectiveness as detecting appendicitis complications. Thirdly, to determine whether there is differential diagnosis for right lower quadrant pain that mimics appendicitis. And lastly, is to assess the average CT thickness of normal appendix in the Indian population by evaluating the diameter, appendix diameter in CT abdomen for other cases. Now this study uh, design, it is a hospital-based observational study. The patients had right lower quadrant pain with neg and negative UHG findings was the study population and the sample size was 200. This The duration of the study was from May 2022 to April 2023, that is 12 months duration. And uh, it was carried out in Department of Radiology. Uh, in collaboration with surgical surgery in Dr. Yuvai Patil Hospital, Kolhapur. Now the patients were, we were, all patients who were suspected to have appendicitis and showed negative UHG uh, findings on UHG in ultrasound, they were included in the study. Whereas the exclusion, in exclusion criteria, patients who showed typical findings of appendicitis in ultrasound itself, or the patients who are medically unfit to undergo contrast study like renal failure patients or patients with hypersensitivity reactions or the pregnant patients were excluded from the study. Or also the patients uh, with age between 11 to 55 years, they were considered for this study. Now the UHG protocol. Now for UHG, we used uh, G, I used G logic effect machine for abdomen and pelvis examinations uh, with three to five milli, um, uh, megahertz convex transducer to carry out this study. Then uh, the normal appendix was visualized uh, as it is seen as a bright ended loop with no vermiculation. The graded compression technique was also used for better visualization of the appendix. And the appendix, it showed a tubular blind ended structure in the anterior, uh, seen anterior to the iliac vessel and it is non-compressible with diameter of greater than 6 mm. Sometimes the increased pellicular vasculity was seen in the wall of appendix on Doppler study due to mural inflammation. And the UHG findings were reported as positive or negative for acute appendicitis, and any other finding or diagnosis which, if achieved, was reported. Uh, on CT, uh, for CT, performing CT, a 16-slice empty CT, semen somatom sensation was used. And... Uh, CT of abdomen pelvis were, of, were taken from zephoid presses to pubic symphysis area was covered and a non-ionic contrast material I exalt, uh, 350 ohm that is Omnipark 350 was used for carrying the contrast study and axial reconstructions with 3 millimeter thickness uh, slices were also used for examination and the CT reports were positive, negative or inconclusive. The criteria for appendicitis uh, it is was similar to that of UHG. Alternative diagnosis or other findings, if any, when achieved, were reported. Now, the different, uh, we will see a few cases uh, that we had studied. So, uh, this is the first case wherein there is a 54 year old male who had abdomen pain for three days with fever. His TLC count to leukocyte count was 13,800 uh, increased. Showed right lower quadrant probe tenderness with other findings on UHG, whereas CT showed appendix of 7 to 8 millimeter, that is 1.551 millimeter average with a periappendicial fat stranding and uh, is retrocycle in position, as we can see in this image. Now, the case two is 19 year old female with vague abdominal pain for four days with no evidence of fever vomiting. UHG showed no evidence or abdominal findings. However, the CT showed diameter of appendix 
7.3 millimeter with peri appendicial fair stranding. You see an image. Third case was of 35 year male, right toe quadrant pain and on and off pain for the past two months. TLC count was 4,700. UAG was not significant. Uh, CT showed thickened appendix of diameter 10.2 millimeter with no evidence of fat stranding, no evidence of wall enhancement. That is thickened appendix. The case four was a 13 year male, severe ab uh, abdominal pain and uh, distension for five days. TLC count was 13,700, which was increased. Fluid filled bowel like structure with no peristalsis, with no evidence of peristalsis in the adjacent bowel loops was seen on UAG. On CT, uh, we could find appendicolith, uh, appendicitis with appendicolith and uh, appendicular abscess. It was seen in the right iliac fossa. Fifth case was of 18 year female, lower abdominal pain for four days with history of fever for three days, vomiting and loose stools for three days. Ultrasonar we showed fluid filled collection in the right lower quadrant pain with adjacent bowel loop showed mild dilatation and showed mild peristalsis. Appendix was not separately visualized. CT showed appendix perforation in the tip and appendicolith in the image with Periappendicial fluid collection was noted. Appendix is pelvic in position. And see the appendicolith in this image. Now we will see the statistical analysis. Uh, now the age, the age group of 20 to 24 years had higher incidence. Whereas males, that is uh, out of 200, 132 males were uh, showed right lower quadrant pain. They presented with right lower quadrant pain that is higher incidence was seen in male population. Now the various present uh, presenting complaints which of which abdominal pain was found in all of them. However, uh, it was followed by fever being the next major symptom 49% followed by vomiting in 13% of the patients and painful micturation in 14.5% of the patients. On ultrasonography, uh, uh, it was normal in 112 patients, whereas free fluid was seen in 37 patients and mesentric lymphatoids was observed in 51 patients. On CT, the most common position of appendix was retrocecal, followed by pelvic, then preelial, posterior, followed by the rest others. That is, retrocecal is the commonest position. Now, the diameter of appendix. Now, the diameter of appendix less than 6 mm appendix was observed in 112 patients, that is 56% of the patients. And 25% uh, of the patients had diameter of 7 to 8 millimeter, 25% of the patients. Now, the appendicitis is on CT. On CT, 77 uh, cases uh, had found to have appendicitis present which was diagnosed on CT. Now, the other findings which mimic appendicitis were mesenteric lymphadenitis, distal ureteric calcula, ileocecal thickening, uphoritis, pancreatitis, psoas, abscess, Crohn's or colitis, and Crohn's or colitis. Of this, mimic, uh, of this mimicking symptoms, uh, the mesenteric lymphadenitis was the most common, followed by uh, distal Ureteral, ureteric calculus. Now the management uh, in majority of cases, the management was made uh, conservatively done. However, the rest of the patients, 27% of the patients underwent surgical management. Now the results, now the statistical evaluation of the study leads to the following conclusion. That is based on CT findings, 77 percent, uh, 77 uh, patients of 200 cases, study participants with right lower quadrant pain and negative ultrasonographic findings had appendicitis. According to this study, appendicitis was diagnosed in individuals with CT findings of appendicular diameter of greater than 6 millimeter, that is 7 to 8 millimeter in particular. It was which was confirmed by additional corroborative findings, intraoperative findings, and histological correlation. This leads us to conclusion that CT is has more considerable sensitivity 
specificity, positive and negative predictive value in diagnosis of appendicitis in patients with negative ultrasound findings. Now the discussion for this study. Majority of uh, 200 total patients, uh, majority of them, that is 45.5% were in the age group of 20 to 24 years. And uh, of which males, they showed more uh, the incidence than uh, females, that is 132 males or 200 males uh, showed more, more incidence. And age and sex did not significantly correlate. Despite the fact that USG did not uh, reveal an inflamed appendix, mesenteric uh, lymphadenitis were discovered in 51 patients and free fluid was seen in 37 patients on ultrasonography. The most frequent position of appendix on CT, it was retrocecal, uh, which was found to be 76% in our study. This may account for difficult detection uh, of the appendix on UHG. It is call, uh, it, uh, caused by the shadow created by the bowel gas above. Now, according to Nuno Pinto Leite et al. on September 2004, he proposed that the appendix diameter of less than 6 mm or if it is greater than 6 mm diameter with gas filled appendix or 6 to 10 mm diameter appendix without any other CT signs uh, mentioned as possible appendicitis. If it is 6 to 10 mm appendix with wall thickening and wall hyper enhancement with or without fat stranding, then it's proper probable appendicitis. If it is uh, diameter is greater than 10 millimeter or 6 to 10 millimeter diameter with wall thickening, wall enhancement and fat spending, it is definitive appendicitis. Now the complications like appendix perforation, uh, abscess, they were found in six in the study population. The patient in our uh, study who had free fluid in the right iliac fossa on ultrasound were later discovered to have inflammatory appendix mass there. Here, findings other than appendicitis among these uh, 117 cases were detected in CT. The most common mimicker of acute appendicitis was mesenteric lymphadenitis, which was found to be 18% of patients. Therefore, a diagnosis made with use of CT decreases the incidence of unnecessary appendicectomy or surgery thereby reducing the negative appendicectomy rates. In our study, 112 patients who were diagnosed other than appendicitis, like mesenteric lymphadenitis, colitis, ileocecal thickening, found to have normal appendix in CT. The average CT thickness of appendix in the group excluding inflamed appendix was found to be 5.7 millimeter. Now the conclusion of the study. According to the study findings, CT is the next imaging modality of choice in patients with right lower quadrant discomfort, vomiting, fever, or backache, and with ambiguous or negative ultrasound findings. Among the 200 participants in study, 77 cases, they were discovered in CT. 50 patients or that 25% of cases had appendiceal diameter of 7 to 8 millimeter, periappendiceal fast stranding, and appendiceal wall enhancement, and they had been given diagnosis of appendicitis. Due to obesity and re appendix retrocecal location, uh, which was uh, obscured by gas shadows, a negative UHG result for appendicitis were obtained. When the appendix is 78 mm in diameter, the periappendicial fat is stranded, the appendiceal wall is enhanced. CT is the best modality for depending, detecting appendicitis. One of the results of significant percentage of individual diagnosed with appendicitis in this study who had negative ultrasound finding was 78 mm of appendix associated with surrounding CT alterations. On CT image, mimics of appendicitis including mesenteric lymphadenitis, right distal urethral calculus, ileocecal thickening and colitis were found. The normal appendix diameter in the patient with right lower quadrant pain who were diagnosed with disease other than appendicitis such as mesenteric lymphadenitis, ileocecal thickening was 5.7 mm on CT. And finally, as a result of the association between appendicular diameter, periappendicular fat stranding and wall enhancement, CT was determined to be predominant modality of choice in assisting clinicians in diagnosing appendicitis in patients with negative ultrasound findings thereby prompting early intervention treatment and reducing the unnecessary complications. CT also aids in exclusion of appendicitis, lowering the negative appendicectomy rate. These are certain uh, references which I used for this study, carrying out this study. Thank you all for patiently listening to me.
थैंक यू ऑल